Now at five, Carl Gables High School targeted online. Uh, we take all of these uh, types of situations very seriously. Tonight, another teen learns a hard lesson. Uh, he was impersonating, based on the information we have, uh, real individuals, other students at the school, which makes this case, uh, quite frankly, more disturbing. After Miami-Dade schools say they received a school threat. And Miami-Dade school superintendent said that the threats came from a student who posed as others by creating fake email accounts. And he says he has no tolerance for hoaxes like this one. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight in Coral Gables with more. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho says there is zero tolerance for what happened here. He calls it a threat to the school environment. And many students who we spoke with at school let out agree with him. I think it's wrong and that other people don't deserve it. Students at Coral Gables Senior High School are alarmed. Um, I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Like, why? what's the point? Like, what are your motives to do something or frame someone for something they didn't do. The school superintendent says a student has been arrested for creating fake Gmail accounts and using them to impersonate other students in order to threaten the school. We want to know uh, that uh, we take all of these uh, types of situations very seriously. We have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to threats against schools that result in disturbances to the learning environment. School superintendent Alberto Carvalho says the student was arrested after an investigation this weekend. We investigate all of them and we use the full weight of the law to prosecute those uh, who, uh, who commit these offenses. The student is charged with a felony. It's someone who is uh, carrying out a hoax, a non-credible threat, but basically passing on the responsibility onto his colleagues. And that's just not acceptable. And the charges in this case can have serious consequences. These hoaxes, these non credible threats, are felonies. And they result in a lifelong uh, record uh, in a young person's uh, you know, curriculum for life. They will not be able to go to law school, join law enforcement, join the armed forces. Students we spoke with applaud the arrest. It's an offense that should be penalized because there's no reason to do that. You're incriminating another student that doesn't deserve that. Now, the superintendent is not saying what grade the student is in or the nature of this non-credible threat or hoax. Meanwhile, he is being removed from the school and placed in an intervention program so that he can be eligible for counseling. It's unlikely he'll return to school this year as the school year lets out at the end of next week. We're live at Coral Gables, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.